vast amount of life on planet Earth needs a certain quality of darkness. And it's certainly true in the oceans. Deep water creatures spend their entire life without light. The, the bioluminescence, the artificial light that these creatures create is used in a couple of different ways. It can be used for attracting mates as some insects do here on the land. But then there's also this whole concept of light is bait. So there'll be fish, the lantern fish is the most famous, it has a little bioluminescent thing that hangs out in front of it. Another little fish swim up to see what this light is about and then <laughs> gulps them with these big gigantic jaws. All these creatures have adapted to a certain condition of light on planet Earth. Sea turtles were one of the first studies. They hatch out of their eggs and crawl their way up to the sand. Normally it's the light of either the Milky Way rising over the top of the ocean or even the moon reflecting off the water. And the turtles are bioengineered to move away from the darkness, which is normally the shore, out into the ocean. And of course all these beautiful beaches the turtles like to nest on or where humans would like to spend time or at least vacation. And the consequence of light following civilization now gets the turtles going the wrong direction. Direction. It's that hardwired of a light dark programming that a lot of animals have that humans' artificial light can really mess them up. As it relates to light pollution in the oceans, I think there's a lot more out there that just needs to be studied. I can imagine that cruise ships and oil rigs also would be spilling out enough light that could have some detrimental impacts. And I guess what I'd base that speculation on is that a lot of good studies have been done about freshwater lake systems where the artificial light disrupts different kinds of fish. One of the typical fish behaviors is that during the daytime, the fish will go down into the deep water, but as they perceive the sun having set and you know no longer sunlight streaming down, they'll move up to the surface to forage on insects or other smaller fish. But in marinas or resorts on the lake shore where they're pumping a lot of light down into the ocean, the fish don't come up. They don't forage as, as aggressively as they should because from their standpoint, this day is lasting really long because there's enough artificial light that they're not experiencing true night.